Our top story, more news from the Crystal Lake Apartments. The apartment complex was placed under new management last week. Now they're forcing the few people who still live there to move out for good. Avery Braxton has their story. There have been plenty of tears in the last month and a half for Patricia Lockett. I'm going through a lot. I don't wish nobody go through none of this. The Crystal Lake tenant began staying in a hotel and then at her daughter's apartment after their ceiling collapsed. It fell down onto me. The Department of Family and Children's Services told her she had to leave her apartment because it was unsafe for her children. That's our home. That's our home. That was our home. Now we're homeless. She's not the only one who's had to leave. Residents received notices on their doors that the entire complex is being cleared out. After a new receiver was appointed over the apartments last week, the letter says it won't be possible or safe to conduct extensive repairs and gave residents until April 30th to move out. The complex also says they'll waive March and April rent. What is all these people going to do? I, I don't just feel for me and my family. I feel for everybody. Yeah. Like Lockett, Alfred Riggins has been in a hotel after being moved out of the high-rise apartments. This is not somewhere I want to be. This is, this is somewhere I do not want to be at. He says waiving the rent isn't enough and that living outside of his home has made it impossible to pay for a new one. How can I do that when I'm standing trying to eat and I got to try to find somewhere to stay? I got to try to find, save money for my deposit, for my water bill, my light bill and application fees. I mean, it's hard for us out here. Riggins said not enough is being done by the complex or the city. Lockett says the whole situation has made her feel like a failure. It made me feel like it doesn't matter. I don't matter. My kids don't matter. And making Avery Braxton 13 WMAZ News. Crystal Lake said they would enforce rent payment for those who choose to stay past the April 30th deadline.